Okay, so boom! The scene kicks off with Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke on their way to check into the tuning exams. On their way to check in, they pass Team Guy, and off the rip, the Sasuke glazing commences. Hey, yo, Neji talking like he just seen Jesus Christ himself, talking about some Sasuke of the Uchiha clan. And Ten Ten proceeds to one up the glaze by saying, He's pretty bold. You gonna, gonna challenge him? him? No. He's pretty bold? What? He's literally just walking. Nah, we gotta tone it down. Even Lee knows they're doing too much. Keep the side eye he giving Neji. That's a y'all on tip look. Trust me, I'm a professional in reading body language. That is what he said. What? Neji and Tenten begin to walk to check in, but Rock Lee has other plans. He tells them not to wait up because he has to go check something, but the only thing that boy was ready to check was Sasuke's chin. Rock Lee finally pulls up on Team Kakashi and immediately calls out Sasuke. Hey, hey you, you, with the clan full of skeletons, huh? hold, hold on. on. They all turn around to see who just called Sasuke out, but when they see who it was, they're all surprised. But Sakura in specific went a little overboard with her reaction. She turned around with a facial expression of complete horror. Out here looking like Cuff'em just oh asked her on a God, date. That's the ugliest thing in the world. She did not have to do my man Lee like that. Yes, he got them angry bird eyebrows. Damn. Yes, he got an ugly bowl cut. Right, yes, he got a she in bodysuit. Okay. Yes, he talks All like right. he's on the spectrum. You know what? I can low-key see where she's coming from. This reaction might have been valid. Rock Lee hops down and then challenges Sasuke to a fight. He down there talking about some. Everyone's, Everyone's always, always talking, talking about, about the Uchiha, Uchiha clan, clan and, and how, how great they are. they are. I want to see if it is true. Um, correction. How good they were. Were, as in past tense. Just gotta correct you real quick, they are all dead. If we really think about it, how elite could the clan be if two ninjas wiped them all out? Hey, I'm just saying, it's some food for thought. Sasuke begins to consider accepting Lee's challenge, but right before he could make a decision, Naruto's loud ass butts in yelling, HOLD IT! I get in first, this weirdo is mine. Rock Lee politely declines Naruto's no. challenge cause he knows it's a waste of time, but Naruto's still in his I gotta prove I'm better than Sasuke era, so he charges at Lee anyway. He cocks back his right fist and aims it straight at at Rock Lee's face, but in the most elegant and effortless way possible. He steps in and deflects the blow with the tip of his fingers. Look at my goat! I know this just the first move, but from this alone, I already knew Lee was like that. Peep out Naruto's moving in slow motion, but this man Lee just steps to him in regular speed. He's too nice. But Naruto doesn't want to give up just yet. So after his punch gets deflected, he hits this little breakdance move and tries to counter with a back heel to the face. But Lee dodges it with the most we Disappointed face, then leg sweeps Naruto's hand, sending him spinning into the wall. Just look at that effortless leg sweep. I know Naruto was embarrassed as hell. Lee had that man looking like a Beyblade for a good five seconds. And look how Lee held that pose with them flexible ass legs. That she and bodysuit got some real stretch to it. Lee then starts talking that smack, saying, Just, just accept, accept it. it. You have, you have no, no chance, chance against me. Your skills are inferior. And as cocky as this sounds, Lee was spitting. Cause Sasuke could not hang with Lee back then. And he was ready to prove it. After watching him wipe out Naruto with ease, Sasuke's still not convinced that Rock Lee can beat him. So he accepts his challenge. But Sakura's over there whining, talking about some. There's no time, Sasuke. We gotta register by 3 o'clock. Okay, so go register. We don't need you here. But unfortunately, that was not the answer Sasuke gave her. He lets her know that the fight will only take 5 seconds. Then proceeds to charge at Lee, ready to kick off the Fight. But for someone who claimed the fight would be short, he sure took a long time to get to Lee. This man looked like he was running in the same what spot for a good few seconds. Out here looking like them slow-mo run TikTokers. If any of y'all are still doing this in 2024, please seek mental assistance. Sasuke finally gets to Lee, but as soon as he throws a punch, Lee dodges it with ease, then teleports in the air and hits him with a leap hurricane. Sasuke initially dodges the kick, but Lee wastes no time and boots up another one. Sasuke sees that kick headed his way, so he puts his hand up to block it, but to his surprise, Rise. Lee still found a way to put the bottom of his dirty, nasty chonkos to his cheek. Look at his face! He's never been touched like this in his life. Uh, toes all up in his face, smelling every fungi and bacteria colony growing in between them toes. But hey, on an unrelated note, my guy, I know times can be hard, but I know they're not that hard. You are rocking a size 7 right now, and we need to up that to a size 9. Your toes are damn near gripping the front of them sandals. Do better. This kick at Sasuke's body, skipping a across the ground, shaking like he got Parkinson's. Now he talking about some, he's using some technique to get to me. But what, what is, is it? A ninjutsu or a genjutsu? But unfortunately for him, it's a technique that he's not familiar with. The yeah, run them hands no jutsu. Sasuke gets up and decides he's done playing around, so he boots up his Sharingan. But the camera pans to Lee's face, and he is not phased in the slightest. The only one impressed by that move was his biggest fangirl. Sakura over there talking about some, you never know what Sasuke will do next, it's amazing. But I'm like, brother, what are you talking about? I promise you, after seeing Lee drag his foot across his face, we all could have guessed he'd whip out his Sharingan next. Sasuke charges in it. Sasuke's getting stronger every day. 
Can you shut the fuck Sasuke charges in it. Just what you'd expect from an Uchiha. Are you done? Are you no, can I finish? Sasuke charges in it. Sasuke could never lose to a guy like Oh this. my is big riding all you do? Damn! How you hit this man with three compliments back to back to back before he could even make a move? These are record setting levels of glaze being put on display. Like why are you even here? Go register or something. You don't gotta be glued to his hit. Sasuke finally charges in and makes his move. But right as he gets in close enough proximity to attack, Rock Lee gives him that sweet chin music launching him 10 feet in the air. Lee then rushes in before he could even land and they immediately start throwing hands. Naruto's just now waking up from that coma and this right here is how you know Sasuke's getting work. This man just opened his eyes and the first thing he does after regaining consciousness is gasp and yell out Sasuke! When even Naruto is concerned for him, you know that he's cooked. Sasuke then dodges these two kicks but catches another one to the dome. Lee goes in for a punch that gets blocked so he counters by elbowing him right in his gut causing him to back up against the wall. Now Lee's just playing with him. This man then teleports behind him to talk more junk in his ear. Sasuke tries to hit him with a back fist but Lee's just too fast. You can tell Sasuke is trying his hardest to lock in and figure out his tricks with his Sharingan, but that won't work. There's no way out of this. Rock Lee then proceeds to tell him exactly why his Sharingan won't work on him, saying that even if he can read his moves, he can't stop it either way because he's too slow. And this is honestly facts. Everybody knew Shaq's big back wasn't gonna be shooting no step back threes. He's gonna back you down and get to the rim. But the question is, can you stop it? And nine times out of 10, the answer was no. Rock Lee still calling him slow in nine different ways. And this is getting Sasuke real mad. Listen to this growl. He is about to pop a vein. Sasuke charges in and starts throwing punches at Lee. But this man here is dodging every punch while giving him a speech. Rock Lee's finally ready to wrap up this fight. So he raises his leg and launches Sasuke in the air. Look at how he had that man floating. He was begging for someone to make an edit. He then teleports right behind him to commence his primary lotus. As he's chest to back with this man in the air, he's still talking that hard junk. He's in his ear talking about something. Now I will prove my, my point. point. That hard work beats out natural talent. Yeah. This quote alone had me standing up in my seat, ready for Sasuke's yeah. skull to be shattered. Rock Lee is the underdog of underdogs, the definition of hard work beats talent. Who in their right mind would want to see this man lose? But right as he begins to unravel those musty wrist wraps, Franklin the Turtle throws this origami windmill looking shuriken and pins Lee's wrist wraps to the wall causing the fight to end prematurely. Y'all do not understand how bad I wanted to see Lee get that move off. Sasuke at this point needed to be humbled so bad and the show just started but you know what i guess all them taps to the chin will have to do sasuke's biggest glazer catches him preventing a neck breaking fall and lee apologizes to franklin the turtle for attempting to use a forbidden jutsu thus putting an end to this tuning exam teaser overall a very overlooked fight i really wish they had a chance to go at it in the actual tuning exams but it is what it is lee yet again proved why he got that dog in him sasuke finally got a taste of that humble pie he deserved naruto's foolish self got embarrassed as usual and sakura Honestly, I'm not, I'm not even about to speak on her. Like, she about to uh, play the outro. I don't really want to know. Shorty telling me her name. I don't really want to know. Had to wake up, go to work. I ain't really want to go. Got be with me on my side. He be with me on the low. 